So that's one reason why I'm excited. The other reason that's making me excited and nervous is y'all because this hair is 613 hair and it's 250 density. And y'all know I normally don't look at stuff before I talk to y'all, but that's how much I've been waiting on this hair. The reason why is because I've been wanting a wavy 613 ash blonde wig. So we are going to experiment and I'm gonna tone this and see if I like it. So if you look in that description, well, I'm gonna show you the wig first before I do anything to it. Um, if you look at that description box, you'll see all the details on this wig, everything you need to know about this wig, straight from Reshine here. So, yes, okay, I knew I wasn't going crazy. Oh, and it's 26 inches long. 26 inches long, it is a deep wave, and it is 250 density. Y'all look at that 613, okay? So not only did they send the wig, they sent over a care card, they sent over some eyelashes, and they sent over some stocking caps right y'all don't care about that let's look at this wig which is what y'all care about and i hope y'all i hope 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 this works because i'm going on vacation for my birthday and y'all know i like to be blonde so we shall see all right so when it comes to quality i know the quality on this wig is going to be bomb because it is from reshine here i've actually reviewed this wig by them before but it was just in a natural color so I can speak to the quality before I even put this on and tell you it's going to be bomb. Y'all look, 613 of gorgeousness. The other thing that I can appreciate is the density on this is 250, which y'all know, I don't go over 180, but this needed to be 250 because I find that blonde hair tends to thin out at the ends. So this one looks like how it should look, okay? As far as cap construction, you get a comb in the back, adjustable straps, and then in the front, I can't, I think this is a 13 by four, but like I said, look in the description box. Might be a 13 by six. Comb to the right, comb to the left, and a comb up there on the crown. I know, like I said, this wig is bomb before I do anything to it. Cause I've had it in a black. But y'all, ashed out, this is going to be, not ass out, I ain't trying to get down like that on my vacation, but ashed out. Y'all, this is going to be so, 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 so pretty. Um, y'all, yes. All right, so this is what I decided I'm gonna do. I am going to cut off this lace, play around with it, show it to you in its awesomeness, because some of y'all wear straight 613 like this and be okay. I find that I look like Goldilocks, and it's always too hot and too cold, never just right. So I'm gonna show it to you in its awesomeness. And then I am going to go get my purple shampoo. I use Olaplex, I'll show it to you. And try to tone this wig and then come back with my final thoughts. So buckle up, buttercup. We'll be right it's back. Not that I'm you here. Yeah. It's not the way you said. I, I know that I don't make it clear. quality of this hair is very 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 nice y'all 613 just scares the hell out of me it makes me feel very aggressive and i don't know why so because i'm blonde in my natural hair i knew that i was going to tone this not dyed not using shimmer lights because none of those things really work for me not using willa t 18 or whatever it is 
But y'all, I use Purple Shampoo by Olaplex on my real hair. And that's what I'm using here. Hands down, the best purple shampoo on the market if you are trying to get ash. If you see, I hit bottle. I was running out. Uh, that's how much I use this on my real hair. The only thing about Olaplex, y'all, is it takes super quick, even on my real hair. Um, but I will never buy another bottle of Shimmelice again. I picked this up from Sephora. I even got it on, I think, auto ship at this point. Because as a blonde, I can tell you, it's a thousand percent the best purple shampoo on the market. So I'm just putting it all over the head, trying to get as much as I can out of bottle. Like, because I said, I use this on my real hair. Um, and I don't even let it sit. Once it, once I have it all on here, I immediately begin to start rinsing where I first started applying because that's how fast it takes. Y'all, look how ashy they got, just like my hands. Now, right now, I'm looking like something out of A Wrinkle in Time or a Harry Potter character. Boom. All I did was wet it. Um, in that bottle is just leave-in conditioner and some water. I think I'm going to go through and put some of the styling product that I use on my real hair on this wig. It's by that Adwa Blue Tansy or whatever. Um, I also noticed when I was looking at this, that in the back, you can see a, a patch of purple. Since then, see it right there? Yeah. Since then, that has been removed. A trick, if you, oh yeah, that's what I put on this. If you overtone your hair with purple shampoo, whether it be your real hair or uh, like a wig, all you have to do is put lemon juice on it. Lemon juice will fix it. It'll strip it right out, y'all. But I was so excited with how this turned out. I prefer this method over dyeing or any of that because I didn't lose density. And that's what tends to happen when you dye 613 tracks to me. So this 100% worked for me. You see, I only got that tad bit of shedding. This hair was bomb. I really, 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 really like Reshine here. And this wig just solidified it for me. All right, guys. So overall, know that I prefer this method over toning. I prefer this over shimmer lights. You need to get you some Olaplex. I am so happy with the way that this hair turned out in the comments. Let me know if you like it as well. Until next time, which will be very, very soon, guys. Bye.